Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I haven't been doing much on here recently because at all, it's been a while really. Because, you know, I just wanted to take a break and, and, and focus on some other stuff, trying to make extra money and, you know, the things that adults have to do. But recently, I do have a good reason to be back on here and to update y'all on what's going on. But for right now, we're just going to talk about this, not the scope, the gun and the scope together maybe. Uh, this is a Savage Model 110 Hunter, chambered in 308. Um, I've only shot it with these. I took this scope off of another rifle that was zeroed and put it straight on here, and it was pretty much zeroed. Only had to do some minor adjusting, and it's on. Um, this specific 308 um, is with the 20 inch barrel, so it's not as long. So, really, you know, it's, you know, an. Uh, maybe sticks out seven and a half or eight inches past the end of the stock there. I would really have honestly liked to have had a 22 inch barrel over this or even a 24, but a 308s do do very well with a 20 inch barrel. Lots of um, um, precision um, setups do have a 20 inch barrel. So I'm fine with it. It, uh, it doesn't look bad. It's a great looking gun. It's a great shooting gun. Super smooth action. I'm going to go come over here and show y'all. Just very nice. I wish that Savage would have stuck with the Indian head as their logo instead of this little thing, which is like an S inside of some lines. But it is what it is. This is like a, more of a budget gun. But unlike a lot of other budget guns, this one does come with a metal trigger guard. The, the box magazine is very nice, has a metal frame in there, some type of poly polymer. And this is just like a spring in there. But it's uh, you're not going to accidentally knock this one out, you know, by just touching it. You know, you got to actually forcibly push on it. Um, and then you get a nice click when it goes in. The magazine holds four plus one in the chamber. I am very happy with this gun. Uh... At some point, plan on getting some lower scope mounts and a bit uh, more of a powerful scope. This is a Vortex Diamondback um, 3 to 9. It's a Vortex Diamondback Tactical. So it has the, um, you know, the turrets that are labeled that are exposed and stuff like that. And uh, I do like it. Good, super good glass, especially um, whenever you compare it to something cheap. Now the back of the stock here. The butt pad it is very spongy. I do like that. It is shorter um, than some of the other guns that I have. And the good thing about that is, um, you know, I, I do like to have a gun with a properly fitted um, butt stock. But if you're like me, these guns aren't just for shooting. These guns are for hunting. And when you're wearing a ton of camo and jacket like I am now, even though it feels good in here, it doesn't feel so good at good outside up here in Northeast Missouri right now. So I like to be able to, you know, if you're wearing all those layers, that adds extra to your body and shoulder area. So I like to have a, a bit of a shorter stock. Y'all should try that out if you, you've run into them areas during hunting season where your gun just doesn't feel quite comfortable on you. So um, I'm not familiar with the twist rate on this barrel. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um... I, I did I did trade for this gun. I traded my um Ruger American Ranch 556 for this because I want to go on a West Coast hunt for Sitka Blacktail Deer and I need a gun capable of doing so. My 65 Grendel I believe would do it and I believe it would kill a deer even out at 400 yards. Um but I want something with a lot more knockdown power and if you're familiar with 65 Grendel, which I have one right here, 6.5 Grendel, and, uh, you know, the tried and true 308, and it was tried and true by the military before it was tried and true by hunters. Anyways, um, this has got a great deal more behind it, powder, weight, all that stuff, and so this is what I'm going to be using. Not this exact bullet, probably, but something um, more, uh, uh, something that the gun likes more than this. Even though this stuff doesn't shoot bad at all, I know it's going to kill deer. I've actually killed a lot of deer with Federal Power Shock. Um, in in thirty thirty and thirty odd six and uh, another and also three oh eight. 
So I will make a video here soon uh, with some 100-yard groups. i um, not going to take you out to the range. I have no reason to lie to y'all. I'm going to show you the groups that I got and the ammo that gave me those groups. I'm going to try to get at least five different types of ammo, including Remington Core Locked. Um, I already have this Federal stuff here. I'm going to try to get my hands on some uh, Hornady American Whitetail 150 grain. I'm going to try to stick to around the 150 grain. And then maybe also branch out and just try some, what eight, some 180s, the Federal uh, um, Power Shock 180s. Um, also want to do the Winchester PowerPoint. That is my favorite bullet for hunting. I think they do amazing. Going to also do the uh, Winchester Deer Season XP. Going to try Federal Fusion. Um, most of the stuff that's on the shelf that you can afford, I'm going to try. Um, and uh, try to get a good group too. I'm going to be, uh, you know, shooting as small at as small of a dot as possible because you know, aim small, miss small. I've always found the short, the smaller dots that I've used, the better my groups. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think next weekend I'm going to try to take this on a doe hunt. Um, I've already killed five deer, five deer this year, three with my bow and two with my other rifles. I killed one with my six five Grendel and one with my three fifty Legend. So it hasn't been a bad year. I didn't kill nothing. I didn't kill any monster by any means. Um, but, you know, it's a good year. It's not always about that. I was proud of what I got because I got it on public land. Um, and, yeah, you know, it's, it's been great. So um, I'm glad that y'all are here and watching. And hopefully uh, y'all like and subscribe and stick around for more. I'm going to, be, especially, you know, now I'm going to be trying to put some more shooting videos on here. I would love to do a lot more like Hootie Who. But I don't have the money that that dude has to buy the the guns that dude buys. So, you know, it's kind of been slow in my end. But I've been doing some reloading. And I've been doing a bunch of hunting and other stuff like that. So if y'all are interested, that's how it's going. I'm no longer enlisting in the Navy. It didn't work out in my best interest. I really wanted to get in. Um, but some of my past in the state of Louisiana came back to bite me. Um, that I just, you know, uh, and it is what it is, you know. So, uh, it doesn't look like I'll be going to do that. Um, so I'm still a patriot. I still love this country and I'll do anything in my, in my means to be able to, uh, you know, um, help people be aware of what's going on, whether that be politically or any of that stuff. And also stuff like this, you know, y'all make sure y'all keep y'all guns. I love you and Jesus loves you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.